Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to provide a short demonstration of point by serial correlation using SPSS. Before we get started let me note that you can obtain a copy of the data set that I'm using by following the link that's provided underneath the video description. So a point by serial correlation is basically the Pearson's correlation between a binary uh, variable X and a continuous variable Y. So in this data set that you see, I've got fictional data from 15 individuals uh, regarding their intention to vote in the upcoming election, their knowledge of the candidates, and avoidance of information related to the candidates. The intention to vote variable is coded 0 for um, does not intend to vote, and 1 uh, indicating that the person does intend to vote. The knowledge of candidates variable is scored so that higher values indicate greater knowledge of the candidates and lower values indicate less knowledge. And then the avoidance of information variable is coded such that higher values indicate greater avoidance of information and lower values indicate less avoidance. So let's go ahead and generate our uh, a point by serial correlation between intention to vote and knowledge of the candidates. So to do this we're going to go to analyze, correlate, and then to bivariate. I'm going to reset this and I'm going to move the intention to vote variable over as well as the knowledge of candidate variable. We're going to leave the correlation coefficient set for Pearson and we're also just going to go ahead and leave this set for two-tailed test um, uh, for significance. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK and now we get our results and you can see that we have a positive correlation between our two variables. Now keep in mind the coding of our variables basically a value of zero on intention to vote indicates uh, that the person expressed an intention not to vote a value of one indicated an intention to vote and lower values on knowledge of the candidates indicated uh, lower knowledge and higher values indicated greater knowledge. So that positive correlation that we're observing right here indicates that individuals who expressed an intention to vote also indicated greater knowledge of the candidates. And if we were using Cohen's conventions for judging uh, the size of the correlation coefficient, uh, where 0.1 would be considered small, 0.3 is medium, and 0.5 is large, we would, we would describe this correlation uh, between these two variables as large. Next, you can see that we have our p-value that's given right here, and you can see that that p-value is uh, basically uh, less than 0 0.01, so we would interpret the correlation coefficient to be statistically significant and infer that the population correlation between the two variables is not zero. If we want to, uh, just by extension, I'm just going to go ahead and generate a scatter plot for the relationship between these two variables. So I'm going to go um, basically how I did this. I don't want to do this too fast for you. I went under legacy dialogues and then down to scatter dot right here. Clicked on simple scatter and then define. And I'm going to go and reset this just to show you how this is done. I'm going to move the intention to vote variable over to the x-axis knowledge of candidate over to the y-axis and then click on OK. And so now we have the scores within each of the groups. So you can see that uh, we have the do not intend to vote group and then the intend to vote group. And if we want to, we can actually generate a fit line to this. I'm going to double click in this box and click right here under add fit line at total and then close this out. And basically uh, where the lines cross over uh, in each of the distributions right here. Basically, this would be considered the mean for each of our two groups, given our coding of our intend to vote variable of 0 and 1. So you can see here that the mean uh, uh, score on knowledge of candidates is higher uh, in the intention, intend to vote group as opposed to the uh, do not intend to vote group. Now let's generate the correlation between um, our uh, intention to vote and avoidance of information. So I'm going to go back under bivariate here. I'm going to move the knowledge variable out and avoid information in. And we'll go ahead and rerun this analysis. And so you can see, once again, we have a, a strong correlation between these two variables right here. And uh, it would be statistically significant. But you see that the association is negative. So what this would indicate, keep in mind, once again, our coding of our, of our intention to vote variable, 0 is do not intend to vote, 1 is intend to vote, 
Higher scores on avoidance of information indicates greater avoidance of information. So basically this negative correlation would indicate that individuals uh, who express an intention to vote uh, reported less avoidance of information. And uh, if we wanted to generate a scatter plot of this just to take a quick look, we can. So uh, we just go back to graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter dot. We'll go back under simple scatter here and define. We'll move our knowledge of candidate variable out uh, and then avoid us of information in to the y axis right here. We'll click on OK and just uh, go ahead and double click on this and add our fit line just so you can see uh, the means for the two groups. And so you can see basically that uh, the mean. Uh, for avoidance of information in the do not intend to vote group is higher than the mean for that of the intend to vote group. Okay, so that pretty well um, concludes this video demonstration related to point by serial correlation and SPSS. Thanks for watching.